Hello everyone. So I have a little bit of an unboxing slash review for you here today. Had to order some more of these uh, clay shapers, color shapers, whatever you call them. Um, grabbed these from Amazon because they were cheap. Excuse me, there are better, um, you know, availability that are like better quality. But I mean, anything can be a sculpting tool and these work just fine usually. Um, I needed a replacement for my like one big shaper that I have. I mean, you can see I've, I've had this since... Oh god, probably high school, which is a very long time ago now. Um, it has lasted me that long. It's pretty firm, too. Um, it, it's the only tool I have that is actually like this. Um, but this part is getting a little, a little too gunked up now for me to use properly. Probably because I don't take care of it very well. But, um... So I needed another one in this size and figured why not get a few since, you know, not just be limited to this one because I, I do find this useful for like getting in general sh shapes and stuff on larger models. So, and I've been working on larger models now for a while, so I didn't really used to need this, but I need it now. Anyway, um, you can even see some of my small, like I usually have small ones like this and even these are starting to really get gunked up and stuff. So it's time for a new one. Um, so I grabbed the couple the other day um, as I was shopping and these are pretty cheap. I'll put the links in the description so you can get these same exact ones if you want to give them a go. Um, there's so many different kinds and stuff but I do find that a lot of the cheap versions are all the same softness and they're really soft usually. I, I'm having a hard time finding proper firm um, black tips uh, unless you're buying them from a supply store like Blick or something but then they're much more expensive. Um, so you know, take it as you will. I mean, I can work with a lot of things, so we'll see. So here we go. This came in a set of five. Let's see, interesting. I like how this is a tapered tape. Okay, so it's a little softer, a little softer than the black one that I've had. But I wonder if that's just because it's bigger. Oh, it is a lot bigger. But um, this should be pretty nice. I don't like how loose this is. So I'm probably going to have to epoxy this down um, so it doesn't move around when I'm working. I mean, you know, it's cheap, so what do you expect? Um, I might try and crimp this, maybe it'll help, but, you know, usually just some epoxy right up here usually, you know, fixes that. Um, hopefully it doesn't come out. It doesn't feel too loose in there, but, so, that looks pretty good. And we got a couple of different tips. I don't ever really feel it, feel it bleh, find a use for this, so I don't, I'm not quite sure, so probably won't get used much. Uh, this is a good one also for sharper lines. Oh, this is, yeah, this is pretty firm. This is a nice firmness. I like this. It's more like a, a medium. Um, this one I can use sometimes. It's good for getting in spots. But yeah, they're all a little loose on this set. Um, and this one's pretty good too. So the only one I really don't use out of this is like this thing. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, so we got a nice set of those. That will just need to be a little solidified in there. That's okay. Easy fix. Uh, then I got this set that comes uh, with one, two, three, five, five of the color shapers in a, in a medium-ish size, and five of these in a smaller size, still bigger than my smallest ones, which I don't think I have many of this size. Um, but the other end is a ball stylus, which is kind of cool, so it kind of gives you a little dual purpose there. Um, so let's see what these are. These are actually quite nice. Oh. These have a nice feel to them. Plastic. Nice. All right. And these are pretty soft, but not actually as soft as some of the other white tips I have. But these, these are really good when they're soft like this, too, because then you can, like, get rid of those crumbles and make, like, a, a line. Again, this this is a weird tip, actually. I don't know. I've never seen one like that. Similar to the other one, but it kind of curves. So, um, But all these other ones are useful, and you've got nice small bowl styluses here, too, which is cool. These are also good for making lines without, like, scraping crumbs out. So, excited to try those out. This little set came in a nice, thick plastic case, actually. And here is another of just the shapers. And I was curious what the blue tip would be like. Okay, this is similar to these red ones over here. It's like a medium firmness. Like, it's not super soft, but it's not super hard either. Oh, it's pretty nice, actually. This has a nice thin point. I like this. I think I'm going to be using these a lot. So, yeah. These are... And these are on there a lot better than these. So these are kind of like the cheapest bleh set, but, you know, for this size, that's pretty good if I can just solidify those down. These seem pretty solid. 
but uh, time will tell because you know you use sometimes rubbing alcohol and stuff when you're smooth so that's interesting this one's missing the crimp at the bottom but I don't see anything moving. but anyway so there they are um, these are my new sculpting tools and figured I'd show you what they are and give you some links so if you wanted to get them and try them you can do that so thanks for watching please like comment subscribe share all that good stuff and I'll see you next time bye